What's up you guys? I'm gonna be honest with you. My hair looks like trash today, so it's in a ponytail. I let it air dry and then the next day, which was today, I dry shampooed it and I was, it's like half straight, half wavy, like it just looks bonkers. So I've tried like four different hairstyles and naturally we landed on just a good old all American ponytail. <laughs> Anyways, so today we are doing one of my favorite videos and one of my favorite series is series is I've started here on my channel and that would be doing Vogue celebrity secrets videos. I did not discover these kinds of videos until a couple of years ago. Once I did, I fell down a black hole of watching a lot of them. So I've recreated slash tried a lot of the products, techniques, etc., that these famous people, whether they're actors or models, singers, TikTokers. So I have a lot of these videos that I've done. I will link the playlist if you wanna watch some more of them. One of my favorites was a Zendaya one, super interesting. But I find that these videos are interesting to me because they're trying techniques or they use techniques that maybe a lot of us haven't heard of because they're constantly having like makeup artists do their makeup, different people. So they get to hear and see a lot of different stuff when it comes to beauty routines, hear about a lot of different products. So today we are doing someone I'm gonna be honest, I had not heard of, because I, I like TikTok, I watch TikTok, but it was just, I don't know the big TikTokers. Maybe someday soon I will, the more I watch them. So we're doing Bella Porch's makeup routine. She kind of like blew up literally overnight and she tells the story in her Vogue video of how she like made this video where she's just kind of like lip syncing to a really short snippet from this song and literally she woke up the next day to like a million views and then it just kept growing and now she's one of the biggest TikTokers, maybe the biggest, I don't know, but a very large following on TikTok she now has. So she kind of has this signature look that she does in a lot of her videos with these super like blushed cheeks, very youthful looking. She's a beautiful woman as it is and the makeup just accentuates that, but it's definitely a unique, style, especially with the blush. You're gonna see what I mean. People are gonna either love or hate, but I figured, well, let's just try it. I never try anything like that out of my comfort zone and that kind of is, so here we go. Hey guys, it's Bella Porch. Today I'll be showing you guys how I do my skincare routine and how I do my classic Bella look. My first step is cleanser. So the cleanser she's using here is from La Roche-Posay. It's their Tolerion Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. It's literally in my bathroom. It is one of my favorite cleansers and it happens to be at the drugstore. I wouldn't call it drugstore price because it can sometimes be like 15 or 16 bucks, but it really is and it's, it's just such a good cleanser, you guys. It's gentle, but it cleanses the skin. It doesn't dry your skin out. So it's one of my personal favorites too. I've already washed my face, so we don't need to do that right this second. My next step is to put vitamin C on my face. I feel like vitamin C is so important. I agree, Bella, girl. She's using the Mario Badescu vitamin C cream. I have plenty of vitamin C, did I say cream? Serum. I didn't wanna go out and buy that because I have one that's open that I'm using and vitamin C does go bad. So I've been using the Polish Choice C15 Super Booster. I like it. My favorite vitamin C serum is the May Love one, but I want I got this in PR and I wanted to use it up. It is good though, and I agree. I, vitamin C is something I put on typically just like this, like first thing on my skin before sunscreen, moisturizer, anything. I just love it and I feel like it helps brighten my skin and it evens it out. Like I feel like it helps with redness and any dark spots, but then it's also kind of protecting my skin from the environment too. So definitely recommend a vitamin C serum if you're not using one, totally agree with her. I really like her headband. <laughs> like I really want that headband. And then I use the Tatcha moisturizer. This is my favorite. So she did like a little facial mist, like just like an Evian water spray, but then she puts on the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. That's actually one of my favorite moisturizers. It's so expensive though. So I haven't repurchased it again, but it is always on my radar. And I, I definitely know there will be a day I finally buy it again. It's beautiful. It's got dewy in the name, but it's not like dewy, like where it's gonna be like shimmery or oily. It's really not. It's stunning. I don't have that right now, but I do have like a little trial size of the Tatcha, the water cream. Figured we would just put it on just cause I have it. I really should have used making this video an excuse to rebuy that. What was I thinking? <laughs> but this is similar. I feel like the dewy skin cream, this is more like gel like, and I definitely feel like the dewy skin cream that she's using in the purple packaging is more, not too thick, but definitely a little bit thicker. But this is definitely nice and thin and lightweight, which is kind of nice because we're gonna be layering on a couple of things here. 
And so it's nice to have something that's not too thick that's gonna kind of mess up other stuff you're gonna be putting on top of it, you know? SPF. Sunscreen is so important too. And throughout the day, keep applying. That sunscreen looks interesting. It's from Shiseido, but it looked like it was kind of like a weird color. But I'm just gonna use one that I already have open. This one's from Murad. It's their SPF of 30. I like this um, really mostly because I know it wears really well underneath makeup. And even though it, you know, is white in the tube, it doesn't take long. Like the white cast does not linger and it doesn't take a lot of going back and forth, rubbing it on to get rid of that. It does have a smell though. So if you are sensitive, to like smells or they just like make you nauseous, this is not one I would recommend for you. But it's definitely super moisturizing. Like my skin is feeling real good right now. <laughs> okay, I know I've made concessions with these first products where I don't have the exact ones. All of the rest of the things she uses, I'm pretty sure I have the exact item. So if you've been like, what the heck, Jessica, you're literally not trying anything. <laughs> All the rest of it, the makeup stuff, I did buy so that we can twin. Growing up in the Philippines, my mom, didn't really give me any skincare tips. I have like aunts and like aunties that would tell me like, oh, use like sunscreen. Now that I'm done with my skincare routine, my first step for my makeup is foundation. I use this by Morphe. I just take like, a, like one pump. It's been like a crazy year for me. I, I downloaded TikTok last year around January for fun because my friends were like recommending it. I grew up with anim watching anime. The girls in the anime, they have like really like rosy cheeks. And that's how I got inspired to do like my rosy pink cheeks on TikTok. So the foundation she's using, I did buy from Ulta, I'm pretty sure. It's from the brand Morphe. I have never tried this. It's their Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. Really hoping the shade matches right. But I got it in Filter Light 7. So it says it's long wearing, oil free, natural finish foundation that hydrates the skin and blurs imperfections for a soft focus. Look, it's got hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, glycerin. We're gonna see. So she kinda just Actually, the shade might be okay. It might be a little orange, we'll see. But she talks a lot in this video about like growing up and feeling very like people made fun of her. And that made me so sad. And I'm like, how cool for her that now, you know, like literally overnight, she becomes this TikTok sensation. It's just like one of those stories you love hearing because it's like, you know, someone that was maybe bullied. I don't know if she was bullied or not, but you know, when someone's being bullied and then, you know, they get the ultimate upper hand by you know being successful and happy in life and stuff like that. Didn't cover as much as I thought it would if I'm being honest. I don't know why, but I figured this would be like crazy high coverage. It does say medium to full coverage. So let's just do for funsies, just like another little bit in the areas I feel like I need a little bit more. You see what I mean though? I don't know why, but when I hear Morphe, I'm like, yeah, 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 like full coverage classic like 2015 Instagram beat. But it looks nice though. I like that I can still see the hydration underneath. So I'm not complaining. This is definitely more my speed than I thought it would be, which is kind of nice. So go figure. Okay, Morphe, thank you for having it with a pump. It's more appreciated than you probably realize. Also, it's a nice like glass bottle as well, which is also surprising. I thought it would be plastic. People would ask me, is your face burnt or did you get like sunburn? And I'm like, no, it's makeup. But I think it's really cute. When I did the M to the B video last year, and it was like the tic my TikTok that went viral, I woke up the next day and it had like a million likes. I was still in shock because I was like, oh my gosh, that's that's a lot of likes. <laughs> my next step is concealer. I use um, NARS concealer. I just put it under like, under my eyes, just a little bit, just like that. All right, so we've got, this is one I already own, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. We'll just do it how she did it, just kind of a little line across. I do like this concealer. I feel like it's very, um, like easy to work with, it blends in really fast. I always apply concealer like right in there. I don't know that I've ever done it like down here, so I'll be kind of curious. And we're just gonna use the other piece of our 
other part of our sponge here. The concealer placement may be important here though because of the like blushed, like she said, she was inspired by anime and how, you know, a lot of the girls in anime would have like super rosy cheeks. So she said that's kind of where this look was inspired from. That wording didn't make sense. You knew what I meant. But I have a feeling, and I know she mentioned it later, the concealer is really important so that it's not, like you're putting the red blush like pretty high up. So it's important to make sure you applied some concealer to kind of brighten that area. I mean, nice and bright, nothing crazy. The NARS really is just such a good everyday concealer because it's not super heavy, but it's not super light. It's just that perfect kind of medium across the board concealer that's really easy to work with. My next step is my eyebrows. It's, I use um, Benefit. So she's using a Benefit pencil. I've got precisely my brow. This one is like a micro brow pencil, like a skinny one. I think the one she has is the same vibe, but it's like more of a triangular shape. I wasn't gonna buy that because I, I wouldn't use it, but she just kind of fills in her brows lightly. Of course, she's got nice, beautiful, natural brows as it is. So we'll just do a little fill in here. Nice and simple. I have no complaints about this brow pencil. It works just fine. I also think though, you can get this kind of thing at the drugstore and it's absolutely just as good. I can link a couple of my favorite drugstore brow pencils that I think are dupes for this below. Also shameless plug, I do a lot of drugstore dupes videos. So if you wanna check those out after this, uh, I have a whole playlist I can link if you wanna check them out. The difference between like Philippine makeup and the US makeup is that Philippines, they don't really like foundation or like really thick makeup. And I noticed they like to put like the middle part of your lips, like make it like reddish pink. That's basically like the the look. Growing up, I didn't really, I wasn't allowed to wear makeup in school. So like all my friends have like lipstick on and they have like eyeliner, and I wasn't allowed to. So I was always jealous. <laughs> okay, so the next step is I use this bronzer by Charlotte. Tilbury, I really like it. I've been using it for a while now. First, I start off with like my cheeks. I like to like contour my nose. I just use like my finger. It matches my skin pretty well. That's all of what, what I do for the contour. So we've got the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Bronzer. I have it in the shade two medium. It's a bronzer that I like, but I do have a really good drugstore dupe for it. If that video, I've already filmed that video. If it is already up, which I think it is, I'll link that particular one because that's my newest one from literally like the other day. And this I did have a dupe for. That is just as good and <laughs> so much cheaper because this is an expensive bronzer. So I'm wondering, cause I know she doesn't end up putting on any like mascara or anything. She's got these beautiful, what I think are lash extensions. So I might end up putting on mascara just to like kind of match the vibe a little bit better. Cause if I don't, I don't know. I feel like the lashes are definitely a part of this look. So we'll do the nose contour. <laughs> my nose is already crooked as it is y'all. So anytime I like do anything to draw attention to my nose, it's almost always a bad idea. <laughs> We're gonna do it. I can hear you guys giggling at me, stop. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna do my lips and I get this from Charlotte Tilbury and it's Pillow Talk. It's like one of my favorite lip liners. So um, as you can see, my upper lip is like darker than my bottom lip. My Filipino friends have like the same and they always hated it. They're like, how do I get like just pink upper lip? Cause it's like a Filipino thing, I guess. I feel like you just gotta embrace like where you're from and I came to the United States when I was like 14 and I got bullied a lot and yeah so many bad experiences I went through in high school just because of what I look like. Again back to what I said. She got the ultimate retribution baby because look at her now, you know? So, okay. I actually did already own a Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip cheat. I almost said Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat. <laughs> it was in Iconic Nude, which I recently bought. And so then I also bought Pillow Talk. I gotta stop buying lip liners, y'all. This is definitely pinker than like Iconic Nude. I can just show you a little swatch if you're like eyeing the lip cheat liners and you're trying to figure out. That's Iconic Nude and that is Pillow Talk. So Pillow Talk is definitely pinker. Iconic Nude is definitely browner. Just FYI. It's not okay to like bully people because 
of where they came from or what they look like. Even if after I graduated high school, I still had like my high school bullies just bullying me on my Instagram posts. I feel proud of myself for just believing in myself and getting this far. Good for you, girl. So she really did just truly like line the lips. I know she seemed to focus a lot down here. This color is really close to my lip color. So it's blending in really nicely. My next step is lipstick. And this is my favorite from Gucci. I couldn't afford this probably like a year ago. I'm just so grateful now that I can afford this, these like things. And I'm very grateful. So the lip product here I just bought and it seems really nice. I hope I like it because this was a splurge. It's from Gucci and it is their Glow and Care lip color. I think this is the shade she was using, 112 Sally Soft Honey. Packaging, absolutely beautiful. Really thin like bullet, you know? Really soft lip product too. Seems moisturizing. Oh baby. It's so freaking comfortable. Holy moly, like talk about just like a simple nudie pink lip. Now we have the blush. A lot of people ask me what I use and how I do my my classic M to the B Bella sunburn look. The trick to it is you put it not too close to like your under like under your eyes and make it look like you just got sunburned. A lot of people use makeup brushes for like their entire face. I feel like sometimes it's good to use like your your fingers because you can control how much you put in it and then you can make it look natural. <laughs> I bought the shade. Like this is the whole thing, like her signature look. This is the Pièce de Résistance. So it's from Tarte. I've not bought a Tarte blush in so long, so it kind of made me happy. So this is their Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush and the shade is called Natural Beauty. So it looks a little intimidating to me. Still looks intimidating. I kind of want to just swatch it with my finger. So like when you swatch it on your finger, okay, wow. But then when you're like rubbing it on, you know, it's so much closer to the eye than I, than I think. Jessica, you have to keep in mind too that you are much fairer. Much fairer than her. This looks so much better on her. It looks so good on her. I think the problem is this shade for me would not be my sunburned shade. Maybe that's the difference. I just gotta blend it a tinge. Does it look like I got sunburned? I don't know. Just put a little bit on top of like your nose bridge and then exaggerate more, put more in these areas. Next step, highlighter. You notice like in my m 2 b video, my face is kind of like glowy and like very shiny. <laughs> it's because of the highlighter. First I put it on my finger and then I put it on the tip of my nose. And then you put it on your chin too to make it look shiny, cute. Put a little bit on the cheek. Now you guys know how to do it. All right, so I don't have the exact highlighter. She had a Dior highlighter, but this is one I'd been eyeing anyway. So I use this as an excuse to buy it. It's from Kristen Dior. It's their Forever Intense Highlighting Powder in Nude Glow. Really pretty. I've been using this the past few weeks and it's really pretty. So we'll do what she did. We'll do the nose. So I'm gonna throw on some mascara just to try to like match her vibe, you know what I mean? And I'm gonna throw a little bit to tight line with because I do feel like she has a nice like thick band and my eyes won't look like that if I don't put just a little bit right at the base. I feel like there's like a disconnect between where my bronzer was and where the blush begins. So I think I'm gonna connect it with bronzer because I don't think the blush, like with this look, should be down there. Do you know what I mean? Just like a little bit more. I'm almost thinking I just should have left bronzer off of this look for me. So I feel like it's like conflicting with it. I use this for like my eye makeup and everything. This is literally the only brush. And so I just put some like right here. It's 
So now last thing, I'm gonna brush out my eyelash extensions. So this is what I use for my hair and you can like control the temperature and I don't want to go too hot because I have like really thin hair. So she does a straightening brush. My hair probably could use that, but I don't have one with me. Um, I had to do my hair every morning and I have to put it in a bun and I can do it in like two minutes. If it doesn't look perfect, then my my petty officers would just tell me, redo your hair. I don't want to do that. The military also taught me how to be like a perfectionist because everything has to be perfect. And after I strain my hair, I just like grab the two strands. Very cute. This is the- so She's got her little two strands. So, you know what? Let's just grab my phone and show you this in natural light before I say anything else. I definitely look sunburned. I guess I could take out the blush a little bit more. It's just not my vibe, but I'm glad I tried it because it's something that like I'd seen this look on her and I'm like, it really is so gorgeous on her. On me, not sure I'm a fan, but I'm really glad that I tried it because I don't step out of my comfort zone very often and I it's good for me to do that. But I think generally, I'm excited about a couple of the products. I'm excited to try this blush more of like in a placement I would use with a brush because I think I might like that. I really like this lip product. I really did. And that foundation. I feel like my skin looks so nice and healthy, but it does. I don't feel like I need to have a powder over it, which is really nice too. Sorry, I'm in like a weird crevice of this room right now. So all in all, this was just so fun to try out. I also never ever think about putting on blush with my fingers, even though I know I'm probably not gonna be placing my blush up there in my day-to-day -day life, just the idea that you can apply blush with your fingers if you want, I, it just doesn't even cross my mind. So that was kind of a fun, like mental exercise, like, oh yeah, like I could use my fingers for that, you know? But I hope that you enjoyed this. If you wanna watch some of my other ones, I'm doing a lot of like supermodel ones, but every single one of them has been fun and I've learned stuff or discovered new products from Quite a few of them. Oh, and I did Hillary Duff. That was another favorite for sure. But yeah, I love you all so much. Thanks for watching yet another video. I'd love if you subscribed and joined our little family and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.